What's happening guys? It's been a long time since I made a video and um, I want to make up for it right now. I got a bunch of stuff I got to show you guys. Unfortunately though, um, this is only about a, a, like half of the stuff that I've that I've gotten. Um, like in this last past in the in the in the past two weeks has been you know uh, crazy holidays. Um, so a lot of people want to get like you know their last minute Christmas gifts or whatever. So I've been selling things left and right like like anything. And um, this is basically the stuff that I'm keeping to myself. But um, I probably sold all the extra stuff, which I I I wish I would have gotten it like you know like take um, you know some footage of the stuff that I had. Uh, that way you guys could see everything that comes in and uh, but anyways uh, I think from now on that's what I'm gonna do is uh, you know whenever I make a uh, whenever I make a trade or whenever I find a good deal I'm just gonna um, you know take uh, a short footage of whatever I have and then probably just make like you know uh, just one video of like you know different deals and stuff instead of just sitting here and having to get everything from the collection and you know throw it out on the floor and then showing you guys this way I think um, I'm gonna save me a big headache because now I, I just took everything down I'm gonna show you guys and then I gotta put everything back so uh, you know it's kind of a bitch but anyways here we go uh, the first thing that I got was a Craigslist deal um, we're gonna do Craigslist first um, for 25 bucks I got a Game Boy SP uh, this is the one that um, doesn't light up is the 001 version um, so I got this, I got um, Pokemon Leaf Grin for it, and um, the guy didn't have the box for Pokemon uh, Green, uh, but he did throw this in his Pokemon Soul Silver for the DS, um, it d sadly didn't have the game, but you know, I could always use more boxes, I already have this box way back there, uh, this one's kind of in rough shape, but you know, I can still use it. Um, he just threw it in for free, and probably the best thing out of that uh, lot um, is this. Um, it's Pokemon Sapphire uh, for the Game Boy Advanced. Um, it came with the game. It came with um, you know the little um, the white uh, packaging, and it came with uh, the little black uh, Game Boy in uh, precaution booklet. Fortunately, I had this extra just laying around. It's uh, the actual manual for it. It didn't come with it. So now I just, you know, just threw everything together. And now I got a complete copy of uh, Pokemon Sapphire, which is uh, probably my top two favorite uh, Pokemon games of all time. Uh, probably Pokemon Sapphire and Pokemon Red uh, being the other one. Um, this was my first Game Boy, uh, Game Boy game, Game Boy Advance game that I got. Um, for my birthday like in 2002 or 3 whenever it came out so really excited to have this box it's in really mint condition and um, yeah I only paid 25 bucks uh, for uh, uh, for uh, the two Pokemon games um, and the Game Boy Advanced um, let's see moving on uh, Alright, we're gonna move on to. There's one more uh, Craigslist, that, but I'm gonna do it at the end because that's kind of like the the you know like the big the big finish, the big finale. So um, we're gonna go ahead and move to flea market. Uh, it's been really good our uh, last couple of weeks at the flea market. Uh, a bunch of people stopped going to the flea market, you know, because it's getting cold, and that means there was more stuff for me to find. Uh, so I'm gonna show you really quick what I got. Um, I picked up a uh, uh, regular uh, Slim PS2. Um, I can't remember what I paid for them. I think I only paid like five bucks each for each console. Um, otherwise, I really don't pick anything up for more than fifteen bucks, unless it's uh, you know like uh, a Super Nintendo or an NES. Uh, but if it's a PlayStation 2 or a GameCube, you know I I only pay about um, fifteen max. I got this one for fifteen bucks. Uh, both uh, consoles came with the controllers and the cables, but they're somewhere um, in the closet. I don't feel like getting them. Uh, moving on, Silent Hill 3. I got this for, I think it was like 7 bucks. Um, really awesome condition. Uh, it has the manual. It has uh, both discs in there. I think one of them is the soundtrack. Yep. And then uh, the regular game. So uh, I can't wait to play this one. 
moving on uh, from the same guy I got um, that PS2 that you saw earlier that PS2 came in this box and um, oh no I'm sorry no 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 never mind this is the PS2 that came in this box and um, all together I think it was like uh, 30 no wait it was like 25 bucks uh, because it didn't come with any controllers and um, the box is in okay shape it's not that bad but it does have um, a couple of scratches and stuff I just basically wanted the the box because I you know I like the old boxes who doesn't and uh, so I got the box and I got this PS2 and um, this is the first time I ever come across uh, this system in uh, at a flea market uh, for um, it's like the latest PlayStation 2 Slim models they came out with. Uh, you can see the front looks a little different. Uh, it has like a smooth surface right here and then this is regular. And then the cool thing about this um, console is that you don't need you don't need the AC adapter, the special AC adapter for it. So this is the regular one and this is the bottom one is um, you can just use a standard uh, power cable. Um, so you don't have to, you know, have that, um, big ass AC adapter just laying around. Um, I'm probably going to get rid of both of them. Not really. I have the silver one up there that I, uh, I actually fixed myself. It was broken, but now I fixed it. And, uh, I'll probably, I'll keep that one. I am looking for a silver controller though. So if you guys have a silver controller you want to sell, uh, let me know in the comments below. I'm looking for a silver PlayStation 2 controller. Uh, moving on. I picked up a bunch of, um, uncommon, well, not, they're not uncommon. Um, well, this one kind of is. This one I rarely see it. Gauntlet Legends for the Dreamcast. Um... Unfortunately, it doesn't have the manual, but uh, the disc is in really good condition, and I heard it is a pretty good game. And I believe I only paid like three bucks for this, and I think it's like a uh, a twenty dollar game. Somebody told me at the flea market. Who knows? Uh, my Dreamcast um, collection is really weak right now, so uh, believe it or not, this is the second game I have for the console, and the first one being NFL uh, NFL QB Club 2001. I paid like 50 cents for it, so I was like, eh, why not? Uh, so, two Sega Dreamcast titles. Um, this is for a console that I do not have. It's the Sega Saturn uh, theme park. Um, some guy in Craigslist, I bought a Nintendo 64 of him. And um, I bought an N64. And uh, what's it called? Um, he gave me the, the Nintendo 64 for like $15. And then he mentioned he had a Sega uh, Saturn, and uh, he was supposed to call me back uh, because he had it like in his other house. And then you know I kept trying to you know um, hit him up on his phone, and uh, eventually he was like, "Oh, we threw it away." But I think that's bullshit. I think he just probably changed his mind. Uh, he said he was gonna let me have it for like 15 bucks complete. So uh, it's kind of a bummer that it didn't went through. But anyways, moving on. Um. At the flea market, I got this big stack of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Um, I got this for like a dollar. Um, some, some, it's like some guy that has like a bunch of uh, storage units. He always cleans out um, a bunch of trucks and shit. So he doesn't even know what he has half of the time, and he just lets go uh, for cheap. I think that's where I got the Super Famicom that you see back there. I think I got that one for five bucks from him. So um, I, he's always giving me stuff. Uh, I think he gave me a soccer ball for free, so it's really uh, really cool, dude. Uh, moving on, uh, the same dude, um, he had this uh, Sega Saturn uh, Bomberman, uh, manual only. I picked it up, uh, he, I think he charged me like 50 cents for it, so I picked it up just because it's Bomberman and it's for the Saturn. Um, moving on, um, the same guy, believe it or not, he had... Um, he had this one box and in it he had a PlayStation 2 with two controllers. I asked him if he would sell me this white one and he did uh, for like $2. And um, it's really clean condition because I cleaned it. It was actually really nasty and dirty and sticky and shit. I had to open it up and um, clean it and it came out looking really nice. Uh, so like I said, if you guys got a silver one, I'm looking for it. Uh, moving on. Um, oh, the same guy had this uh, Pokemon 
Um, I think this was for the Game Boy Color. And uh, you will put your Game Boy in here. And um, you will put your Game Boy in here. You will put your games in here in the top one. And um, it's just a little carrying case for the Game Boy. Uh, this is actually where I keep my money. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, really cool. It has um, the legendary Pokemon. And got to catch them all in the back. So, um, and it's brand new condition. It, it, it doesn't look dirty or anything. It's really nice condition. So, uh, I thought that was kind of cool. Um, the same guy had a whole bunch, he had a, a box full of uh, old, um, like, magazines from, like, ten years ago of games that were just coming out, like Mario Sunshine, um, what is it, like, like, uh, fuck. Uh, Capcom vs. Marvel 2, um, what else, it was like uh, Grand Theft Auto, Dragon Ball Z, Budokai, you know like in the early 2000s to mid 2000s, uh, he had probably like about like 30, and um, in that same box were a bunch of strategy guides, I, I went through them and I found like uh, 6 that I really wanted, and I basically took them out, and um, I sold the box to get my money back and some, um, and this is the, um, this is basically the stuff that I got, uh, from that lot. Um, let me start right here. Grand Theft Auto 3, the strategy guide. I think this is the Brady Games one. Um, so Grand Theft Auto 3, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Uh, this was the one that I had when the game first came out. I love going through this, um, Back in the day, I used to love going through it, uh, trying to find all the secrets, all the secret uh, cars, all the secret weapons. Um, really brings back good memories having this uh, strategy guide. Um, Grand Theft Auto 4, which the strategy strategy guys just keep getting thicker and thicker. And last but not least, Resident Evil 4, uh, one of my all-time favorite games. I finally got the strategy guide for it. And then uh, tips and tricks. Uh, Dragon Ball Z, um, they had a whole bunch of magazines like this, and this one I really wanted because it came with Dragon Ball Z Legacy of Goku 2, and then in the back, you know, it had a little promo for Resident Evil uh, for the GameCube, uh, so that was really neat, um, all from the same guy, and uh, really awesome condition, really glad I picked that up, moving on, um... At Goodwill, I picked up uh, WrestleMania 25. Unfortunately, I already had it. I forgot I did. So uh, it was like two bucks, three dollars. So not a big deal, but still, you know. Um, I got this Xbox for free. Um, it didn't come with any cables or anything, and the faceplate is missing. Uh, I think it doesn't work. I'm pretty sure, but I'll even if it doesn't work, I'll still keep it for parts. You never know when you're gonna need some parts uh... dumpster diving it, it was really funny because i went dumpster diving the other day and um... as some of you guys know i go dumpster diving at uh, five and below and i came across um... some brand new sealed games they throw away uh... for the game boy advance uh... drake and josh uh... not the best games but they're free and they're still sealed so um... There you go. They're still sealed, so eh, why not? Backyard skateboarding, same thing. They're sealed. And uh, Bakugan Battle Brawlers. Again, it's sealed. You can't really see it, but you gotta trust me on that. But yeah, three games in the trash for free. Brand new, sealed. Uh, can't complain about that. Um, let's see. This was actually uh, a local, a friend of mine just uh, sold me this Super Mario 3 for uh, four, uh, five bucks. Uh, not a bad price for five bucks for this. So I picked it up. It's in really good condition. And I actually have to get this again because the my copy that I had, I sold it to my neighbor because he bought an NES and he wanted some games for it. So I, I got rid of my copy, but I just got it back. So not bad at all. Speaking about NES... Um, I just got this one, Castlevania, um, 
for some reason I never come across it and I I I, I always play it on my PSP on the emulator and but I you know I really I really like the Castlevania series so I you know I think I paid I paid um what was it like seven bucks for it? I got a good deal on it. So seven bucks for Castlevania, not that bad. And it's in mint condition. Um let's see. NES I got an NES uh, at the flea market. Uh, I don't think there's a game in it. It was really nasty and dirty when I first got it, but I cleaned it up really nice. And this this one is for sale. Uh, but for the meantime, I'm playing it since I don't have an NES right now. But I think I have somebody interested in, interested in it coming to pick it up. So uh, it's probably going to be gone by the next video you guys see. But I always come across NES, so it's no, no big deal. And it came with one controller. Kind of beat up, but eh, it doesn't matter. Uh, for ten bucks, I picked up a working um, uh, Nintendo Wii. It didn't come with uh, the little door right here or the door right here. Uh, it does work. I already tested it, and uh, unfortunately, it's in rough shape. But for ten bucks, why not? Uh, this is this is from some guy at the flea market. Um, he has a whole bunch of wrestling toys, and uh, <laughs> I was I was going through the box because I I was looking I was looking for one that I that I saw he had before and I really wanted because I I remember I had it when I was little, and it was this uh, um, like the WWF Kane back when he was still cool. You know he had the mask going, and you know he was like a fucking big red monster. Or big red machine, what they used to call him back then. Uh, really cool figure. Really good condition. I got this for uh, two dollars. And um, while I was going through the bin, I I came across uh, this other one, Stephanie McMahon. And um, I guess I tried to turn her or whatever, and I I, I did it too. I, I did it too hard, and I accidentally broke her. So I had to pay two dollars for it, but whatever. <laughs> Uh, moving on, uh, we're almost done. Um, I think I paid like 15 or 20 bucks for these. Uh, some uh, Jordans, not really sure if you guys care, but you know it was a really good deal and it was flea market fine, so I gotta throw it in there. $15 for some really good condition Jordans, why not? And I just picked this up today at the flea market. Um, some soccer cleats. Uh, this usually go for like around uh, 80 bucks, 90 dollars at you know retail price, and these are actually still new, and um, I only paid 20 bucks for them, so uh, I'll probably end up flipping them. Uh, they're a little too big on me. And um, alright, so finally, um, it's funny how things work. Um, not long ago, I found this Xbox Limited Edition back here, and I um, I checked Craigslist, and uh, I found another one. Uh, but I basically paid retail price. I paid like uh, how much did I pay for? It? I, I paid I forgot how much I paid for it, but uh, but I didn't get like you know like a really good deal for it. But the reason why I got another one. The reason why I got another one, and you see the other one back there, uh, is because it came with the following. Uh, it came with the um, with the controller that goes with it, the original uh, Halo one, and this controller goes for like 25 bucks on eBay. And I really wanted this controller because I wanted that console to be complete. So I I basically got all this just for this controller. So uh, very cool. And with that, I also got this other controller. It's um, it's the same color as the same jungle green looking controller, except it just has the original Xbox logo on it, and uh, it's factory sealed. It's still brand new, and I thought it was uh, you know pretty cool. And I'll probably just keep this for the collection, and I'll keep the other Halo one with my um, with my console back there. And this I'll probably uh, sell it, you know, just make my money back, or I'll probably keep it. I'm not sure yet. I have um, I have um, my friend. Uh, he's been uh, we've been friends probably like almost my whole life, and uh, he recently saw that I had this, and he just thought it looked cool. So I'm probably gonna uh, you know sell it to him. So I uh, just got another one of these bad boys. It's funny how um, collecting video games go. You know, one day you might not ever see 
you know, a certain system or a certain game. But then after you found it, they just keep coming out. It's it's crazy. Um, and I think that's that's it for uh, the pickups. Um, very quick, I just want to tell the story about the Nintendo 64 that I've had my hands on and that I actually had for about four days. Um, so I traded my friend. I traded him uh, Mega Man X, uh, Final Fantasy 2, and uh, and some other game um, for a Fire Orange Nintendo 64. And you guys know you've been watching my channel for a long time. I've been looking for that console for any N64 colored console for a while. Probably this whole year I was looking for one. And it's funny how things work because... Um, Okay, so I got the console. It was in mint condition. You know, I was happy with it. It didn't come with a controller, though. And um, the day before Christmas, I put up this ad for uh, a Nintendo 64, a regular black one, uh, with like Zelda, with a Zelda game and like a Mario game. And um, I put it up on Craigslist. And that same day, somebody came to pick it up. Um, when they showed up at my, when they when they came to my house. I came out with the console and, um, you know, uh, we made the exchange or whatever. He gave me the money that, you know, that what I was asking for, the asking price. So, um, the guy hands me the money and I noticed that there's $20 more than what I was asking for. Uh, right when I was reaching for my wallet, you know, to give him some change back, he goes, no, 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 just go ahead and keep it. You know, and I noticed that, like, he was a firefighter and I think he was getting the console for his little kid. And, um... You know, it, it, it got me. It got me feeling. You know, um, it got me feeling good about you know the holidays and stuff. And I mentioned to him, I was like, you know, I have a orange Nintendo 64. I was like, how would you like that one instead of this regular black one? And you know, he got he got excited. He was like, yeah, you know, I, I would like that. And I, I went back in here and I grabbed the console and I and we switched consoles. I gave him the the orange um, the orange the orange fire one. And uh, you know he left happy. Uh, I was I was okay with the deal because he gave me twenty dollars more than what I was asking. And uh, I figure somebody else is gonna really enjoy that console. Um, and I guess I'll come across another one. I guess I'll, I'll you know uh, either a flea market or yard sales. Um, I always I think I talked about this um, earlier, like in the year. I want to come across. Uh, you know a fantastic Nintendo 64 but I want to do it at a, at a yard sale for like ten dollars you know something big like that um, it's whatever though I bet somebody else is really happy with the console and uh, you know I'll come across another one but uh, I think that's about it guys um, that's all I've gotten um, yeah that's it and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this um, this uh, long video and um just want to wish you guys happy holidays and i'll see you guys next year um i haven't uh, one of the reasons why i haven't done any videos is because i've been sick and uh you know i've been feeling like crap lately so i i think that oh before i go i gotta show you guys one more thing and the general just got spy glasses so i'm gonna be able to go out and record better footage, better footage of me, you know, yard sales, dumpster diving, um, you know, flea market, all that kind of stuff. And now I don't have to, you know, feel like an idiot with me just running around with the with the camera on my on my hand. So now I got some glasses. Now I can go and, um, you know, get better footage, and um, just be on the lookout for that. All right, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.